When a Maryland woman adopted a senior cat from the local shelter in Anne Arundel County, she didn't expect to return just a few days later. After the woman learned a heartbreaking detail about her new feline friend, Mojo, she had no choice but to return to the shelter. 11-year-old Mojo, an orange-white cat, and 16-year-old Max, a cream-colored tabby, grew up together. Max and Mojo were the best of friends, almost inseparable. Little did they know that their lives were about to be changed forever. When Max and Mojo's owner became unable to care for them due to unforeseen circumstances, she was desperate to find them a new home and brought the pair to a nearby shelter. Their lives were quickly turned upside down when, in accordance with the shelter's policy, the two were placed into different cages to await adoption. For the first time in 11 years, the two feline friends found themselves separated from one another. Due to the forced separation, Max and Mojo quickly became withdrawn, losing their playful attitudes and becoming reluctant to interact with visitors. In addition, their old age was making the task of finding the cats a new home even more complicated. In general, it can be challenging for older animals to get adopted, as most potential owners prefer a younger pet. But then, their luck turned around, at least for Mojo. In late November, approximately two months after their surrender, a woman entered the shelter, searching for a new companion. As an older woman who didn't feel she could keep up with the energy of a kitten, she asked to look at some of the older cats. The staff quickly introduced her to Max and Mojo. After spending some one-on-one -on -one time with a few staff members, Mojo had become more playful. His green eyes and spunky attitude quickly caught the woman's attention. The staff on duty were thrilled and began the adoption process immediately. After just a few short weeks in the shelter, Mojo found a new home. Max was not as fortunate and remained in his cage as Mojo was taken away, seemingly destroying any hope of the pair ever being reunited. Mojo's new owner was excited to take him home. Since she lived alone, most of the woman's time would be spent playing with her new companion. Despite all of the attention he was receiving, however, Mojo struggled to settle in, and the woman began to worry when he exhibited some peculiar behaviors. The tabby had started wandering about the house, seemingly in a state of confusion. He would walk from room to room, meowing softly before pouncing excitedly into the room's dark corners. The woman, who at first thought he might be playing a game, became increasingly worried when, upon exiting the rooms, Mojo would whine softly before curling up atop the couch. To ease her worry, the woman began to research why Mojo was acting this way. Several online articles suggested that Mojo might be lonely, and the woman could remember the employees saying that Mojo had grown up in a multi-cat home. Desperate to make Mojo feel welcome, the woman scanned the articles for any solution. One online article suggested that she could provide Mojo with auditory stimulation, such as the television or radio. The article claimed that this could help Mojo feel more relaxed in the woman's home, as the space wouldn't seem so intimidating with the extra noise. Mojo's owner was willing to try anything to help. The following day, after Mojo had made his daily trip through the house, the woman walked into the living room and switched on the TV. She flipped through the channels until she found the local news, as something that she had wanted to watch that could make enough noise to call Mojo as well. Adoptions had been down everywhere lately, and the local news station had decided to run a segment on animals at Arundel County Animal Control, the same shelter Mojo had been adopted from. The staff hoped this would drive up adoptions, especially since the holidays were nearing. As soon as the first animals appeared on screen, Mojo settled down. His tail flicked softly as his eyes focused on the screen. It was the first time since the woman had brought him home that Mojo hadn't wandered from room to room meowing, and she settled back to watch the segment, as well as Mojo's reaction to it. At first, Mojo seemed calm, meowing or tilting his head slightly as people and animals moved across the screen. The woman could feel her heart tug as she saw all of the cats and dogs waiting for someone to take them home. She wanted all of them to find a good home like Mojo had, especially since it was the holidays. The segment continued, and both Mojo and his new owner were peacefully watching for some time. The broadcast was nearing the end, when a sudden loud yowl from Mojo caught the woman's attention. She had never heard Mojo make such a sound. Mojo began to creep towards the entertainment center where the television sat, and in seconds, the normally well-behaved cat leaped off the floor, perching haphazardly atop the entertainment center, inches away from the television screen. The woman hurried over to intervene as Mojo reached a paw out towards the screen, slapping at the display. 
The cat was meowing again, louder than ever, and the television began to wobble atop the entertainment center as he continued to paw at the screen. The woman, fearing the TV could topple onto Mojo, hurriedly picked him up, placing him gently on the floor. The cat's eyes never left the screen, and the woman frowned as he kept meowing. The meows were growing softer by this time, and sounded almost forlorn. The hushed noises brought tears to her eyes, and she wondered what could have set off his strange behavior. As Mojo continued to meow, the woman moved back, glancing down at the television to see what was happening on screen. One of the reporters, a young woman, was struggling to hold her microphone as she cradled a cat close to her chest. Mojo's owner recognized the cat instantly. It was Max, the same cream-colored tabby she had met a few days ago. The woman frowned as the reporter placed Max back into his cage, scratching the cat's ears before walking away. The television screen shifted, cutting to an outside look of the building. It was at that point that Mojo fell silent. The woman turned to see Mojo walk over to the couch, where he hopped onto it, making one last forlorn sound as he looked about the room. She wondered if seeing the other cat had made him feel even more lonely as she walked over to join him. The woman reached out to pet her cat as she sat down, making him look up, nudging the woman's hand as she switched the television off. Over the next few days, Mojo's owner continued her attempts to cheer him up, turning on the television as well as the radio. Unfortunately, Mojo never showed any further interest, aside from the unusual reaction to the newscast. Mojo seemed to become more upset with each passing day, and the woman was at a loss for what to do. It was when Mojo eventually lost his playful attitude altogether that the woman began to seek professional help. The next morning, using the card they had given with the contact information, Mojo's owner attempted to reach out to the shelter. However, the holidays were upon them, and the woman had no choice but to wait until the shelter reopened. During this time, Mojo continued to withdraw. He spent most of his time roaming about the house, always searching every corner until, finding no one, the sad tabby would meow sadly before curling back up on the couch. It wasn't until the following Monday that the woman finally got in touch with Arundel County Animal Control. Mojo's owner quickly explained what was happening with her cat, describing his lack of energy and odd behavior. The employee on the other end of the line, a young man, had been the one to check Mojo and Max in when they first arrived. He had hoped that the pair would be adopted together, fearing that a permanent separation would have serious consequences. The employee, devastated that his fears had come true, remained silent for some time, unsure how to explain the situation. Mojo's owner's heart pounded as she waited. She couldn't help wondering if something serious was wrong with her cat. As the silence grew longer, Mojo's owner cleared her throat, planning to ask if the employee was still on the line. It was at this time that the young man finally spoke again. The employee informed her that Max and Mojo had been surrendered to the shelter together and that the pair had been inseparable for the last 11 years. He continued to explain that in accordance with the shelter's policy, Max and Mojo had been separated upon arrival, causing them to become withdrawn and upset. The woman felt her eyes sting as she finally learned the heartbreaking truth about her new companion, and she wiped out her eyes as the young man continued. The shelter employee disclosed to her that since Mojo had left the shelter, Max had continued to withdraw, becoming unwilling to play or even leave his cage. This knowledge made Mojo's owner feel even more upset, and she asked the young man if there was any way she might be able to help. The employee sadly informed her that since Max, much like Mojo, had become lethargic and sad, the chances of him being adopted were now very unlikely. Mojo's owner felt her stomach twist. Max had been such a lovely cat when she saw him, and he deserved to go to a good home. The young man broke into her thoughts, apologizing for Mojo's behavior and suggesting that perhaps bringing Mojo to visit Max would improve their behavior. The shelter employee could not offer any advice beyond this, and Mojo's owner thanked him before hanging up. The woman then walked over to the couch, where, like always, Mojo was sleeping. She carefully sat beside the tabby, gently brushing a hand over his back. All of his odd behavior made sense now, and while she could understand Mojo's longing for his friend, the woman had not been planning to adopt more than one cat. She was new to owning a pet, and was afraid that she might be unable to care for both Mojo and Max properly. The woman, however, couldn't seem to shake Max or his situation from her mind. 
This led to her deciding to take Mojo for a visit, as well as calling some of her friends to see if any of them would be willing to take Max in. As Christmas grew closer, Mojo's owner continued calling everyone she knew, hoping Max would finally be adopted. None of her friends, however, were willing to adopt a senior cat, and as December neared its end, Max remained at the shelter. It wasn't until Mojo's owner called the shelter to arrange a visit that she learned Max had reached the point where he refused to eat or even attempt to play. Mojo was reacting the same way, as the months of separation from his lifelong companion began to take their toll. The week of Christmas saw Max still sitting in the shelter while Mojo refused to move from his perch atop the couch despite the woman's best efforts. Fearing for both Max's and Mojo's well-being, the woman decided to make a decision that would once again change the pair's lives completely. On the morning of December 26th, Mojo's owner set out towards the shelter once more. She arrived shortly after the shelter opened and wasted no time entering the building. The employee at the front desk was shocked to see the woman again so soon. Her colleague had informed her about Mojo's behavior, and the young lady was worried that Mojo's owner might have been attempting to return him to the shelter. The young woman's concern faded when Mojo's owner asked her if Max was still at the shelter and if she could see him. The employee, who was also aware of Max's situation, was ecstatic and happily led the woman over to Max's cage. When the cage opened, however, Max refused to move, choosing to lie in the far corner, meowing softly. The action reminded the woman so much of Mojo that she swallowed hard, fighting tears as she reached into her pocket to withdraw a small toy. The woman removed a stuffed mouse Mojo had taken to cuddling up to when he slept and laid it inside Max's cage, watching anxiously to see if he would respond. Mojo's owner had read that cats often recognize each other by scent, and she hoped that by bringing a bit of Mojo's scent with her, Max would be more willing to come out of his cage. Minutes passed, each one seeming longer than the next, until Max finally stuck one paw out, reaching for the mouse. Mojo's owner and the employee watched in silence, remaining perfectly still in an effort not to spook Max back into the corner. The little mouse was pulled slowly across the bottom of the cage until it reached Max's face. Max leaned down slowly, sniffing the toy once before letting out the first purr anyone had heard him make since arriving at the shelter. Mojo's owner couldn't stop the tears this time as she watched Max begin to cuddle against the mouse. After a few moments, the woman made a slight noise to attract his attention, holding her hand out as Max looked up at her. She had made sure to cuddle Mojo that morning, allowing his scent to transfer to her clothing. Max sniffed the air hesitantly, before letting out an even louder purr than before. The employee and Mojo's owner watched in amazement as Max scooped up the mouse in his mouth before running directly into the woman's arms. Until now, she had been uncertain about adopting a second cat. But upon seeing his reaction, Mojo's owner could not deny Max the chance to see his friend again. The woman immediately began to file adoption paperwork, telling the employee, The idea of him living out his life in a cage just broke my heart. Since the woman had already adopted Mojo, the process was much quicker this time, and in less than an hour, Max was being handed over. The woman quickly took him into her arms, where he promptly cuddled up. The staff, deeply moved by the woman's decision to adopt Mojo's lifelong friend, snapped a picture of Max with his new owner before they departed. The photo was posted to the Friends of Arundel County Animal Control's Facebook page, captioned with, Have great lives together, Max and Mojo. The post has since earned an impressive 4.8 thousand views. The woman, now the proud owner of two cats, took Max home. As soon as the pair saw each other, Mojo, who had been spending the last month atop the couch, raced over to greet his best friend, meowing happily as the pair began to play. Max and Mojo were back to their regular, playful selves in just a few short seconds. The woman watched in happiness and awe as the pair ran about the house. Despite being separated for so long, nothing had changed between them. To this day, Mojo and Max have since happily enjoyed their new forever home. The pair once again have become inseparable, all thanks to the kindness of one woman's heart. What a heartwarming story! What would you do if your adopted pet was missing its long-life friend? Would you adopt it too? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and until next time.